You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Well, with LSU uh, having spring football underway, news came on Wednesday from Chris Hummer over at 247 Sports that LSU has hired Houston's Trey Holtz as an offensive analyst to work with the quarterbacks. Um, if the last name sounds familiar, it should. Uh, Trey Holtz is the son of Skip Holtz and the grandson of Lou Holtz. A quick um, little thumbnail uh, bio on Trey Holtz. So, uh, Trey Holtz was a preferred walk-on at the University of Texas um, and was there from 2012 through 2016. So, he was there uh, with the Longhorns. In his last two seasons in Austin, he played in every game as the, as the holder on, um, on their special teams. And after that, Trey Holtz went to Ohio State as a graduate um, uh, as a, a grad assistant, and he was at Ohio State um, until 2019, so 17 to 19, at which point he left and joined his father at Louisiana Tech. He was on Skip Holtz's staff at Tech as the inside wide receivers coach in 2020 and 2021. Of course, that overlapped with Joe Sloan, who at that time was the offensive coordinator at Louisiana Tech. After Skip Holtz got fired, um, Trey Holtz spent one season at Charlotte in 2022, and then last season, uh, and at Charlotte, he was the uh, a quality control assistant. Last season at Houston, he was an analyst with the, who worked with the quarterbacks, and now he's leaving Houston, coming to LSU as an analyst working with the quarterbacks. So uh, the um, a couple of things. Obviously, you're talking about this family lineage, which is so hard to ignore, man. Like, when you're a kid whose grandfather is a Hall of Fame coach, your father spent his entire career as a as a, a college football coach as well. You grow up in it, like you grow up learning about recruiting and traveling and being away and the schedule and all of the things and the demands and rigors that go along with being a college coach. Like you're born and bred into it. So to that extent, you have a guy that has immense knowledge and immense connections. Um, like, is there a hint of nepotism? Of course there is, but I don't care. Like, I don't care how you get your opportunity. What you do with the opportunity when you get it is what's most important. And this is a guy, a young guy, who has been in coaching since 2017 when he went to Ohio State. And you're talking about a guy who in that time has spent time at Ohio State under Urban Meyer, who was a grad assistant at, uh, or at, at Ohio State was at Louisiana Tech as a as a, a receivers coach, has spent time at Charlotte and Houston, and now coming to LSU. And the other thing, too, I would say is, do you trust Joe Sloan? Because if you trust Joe Sloan and Joe Sloan's judgment, which I do, and Joe Sloan clearly is the one who vouched for Trey Holtz, then you would embrace this wholly. My feeling always on... on uh, support staff personnel right analyst and the like has always been consistent if you can afford it and makes you one percent better do it that's a big differentiator between the haves and the have-nots if you can if you as a program can afford to hire trey holtz or a hundred trey holtzes and it makes you one percent better do it not every staff has the luxury to be able to do that and for trey holtz it's very clear you were a, a G5, well, I guess Houston's now in the Big 12, but former G5, smaller school in the Big 12 analyst, and now you move up to LSU. You're going to be on the radar. The other thing that's very clear is a lot of major programs use their support staff as a pipeline to their on-field jobs. Look at John Jancic. Brian Kelly's first year here, hired John Jancic as an analyst. And then after one year, John Jancic was on the field. Now, Jancic's no longer on the staff, but the same thing was true with Bob Diaco. I heard him as an analyst because of Jimmy Lindsay's injury and, or, or illness, I should say, and some of the staff shuffling. Of course, Bob Diaco got onto the field last year. Look at, you know, obviously, um, I, you know, I think you could look at this as an instance where 
if Cortez Hankton were to leave. Of course, Cortez was promoted this year with Joe Sloan as co-OCs, but if Cortez becomes an OC and a primary play caller somewhere, could you see a situation where they elevate from within? This is something Nick Saban did. He would hoard quality assistant coaches as analysts and support staff members, and then when an on-field job came open, he had his pipeline. They just moved right through. So I, I, I like it. You can add competent support staff personnel. If Joe Sloan vouched for it, the guy that's going to work with quarterbacks who played quarterback at Texas, the major college level, who's got great lineage in the game within college football, yes, I'm for it. So Trey Holtz um, joining LSU staff as a, an offensive analyst working with the quarterbacks. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.